like i want to wear that everywhere when i'm getting divorced when i'm getting married when i'm going for my local food shop hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i thought we'd do something a little bit different uh because i have no money to buy things purely because i bought these jeans which you've probably seen already um i'm gonna do some window shopping <laughs> which i know is not an original concept and it's not as interesting but i just thought it would be cool to just look at a website that i've never shopped at but i've heard a lot about uh being jaded london um i've seen it on instagram i'm pretty sure i follow them on instagram a lot of influencers i follow have worked with them or have done hauls on them uh on the brand so i thought why not it seems like my style um very fun funky patterns obviously i'm all about that that is like my reflective art style uh and yeah there is sydney x jaded i'm not sure who sydney is whether she's doing some very interesting looking poses i will admit i've had a little look through already i think i got two pages in and i was like hey this will make a good video because there are some things i really like like don't get me wrong but there are other things that i'm like really like i don't vibe with you so let's go with the new in section Ooh shop now um okay this is what i mean their style is very heavily influenced by y2k and the noughties and that very kind of pop star nostalgia kind of when i look at pictures like this i think automatically sugar babe like um i could not tell you why it's just giving me very sugar babe kind of paris hilton vibes this is the collection i've been getting ads for so this is the um like the heat transfer stuff i guess where it's meant to look like you're being touched i think it's a bit weird but like i can see the appeal this this is like something i want to own the devon cardigan which is sold out in every size as it should be can we talk about this please there any more pictures like dude who wouldn't want that like i want to wear that everywhere when i'm getting divorced when i'm getting married when i'm going for my local food shop like bitch it's just iconic like i feel like you could wear that and walk into a room and everyone would just stop and look it's such a cool iconic coat I love it like genuinely i just oh it's so cool and like the mix of fabrics normally i'm not like a huge fan of mixing fabrics but that bit she loves it see this was the kind of stuff i oh okay this is the kind of stuff i was more interested in just like the whole kind of squiggly kind of vibe mr doodle obviously i mention him in like every video but it's like cuts like this like i understand for festival season but personally this is not my style like it's cool if it's your style like more props to you it's not loading but it's just it wouldn't work for me you've got to be brave as hell to wear something like this like the skirt specifically yeah it's giving me chat. It's giving me kind of caveman. Like, you know, when you watch, like, I don't even know, what's that? Like, the Croods. Is that what it's called? The kids' animation? And they've got, like, the little loincloth to, like, cover the. Yeah. I don't know why it's reminding me of that i feel really bad because i'm sure people put so much effort into thinking up this collection but honestly that's all i can think of i'm so sorry please don't hate me obviously i am not one to judge here i am in a pair of ragged priest jeans and 
a big Pokemon shirt. Like, clearly I am not the height of fashion. Your bestie top. Okay. See, I love these. These are fucking cool. These jeans, the your cutie jeans. I don't understand what it says on the back. I think it just says Sydney X Jaded, which I get is meant to like obviously be the collection and her. But like, why can't it say like your cutie? Because that's the name of the jeans and I feel like that should be reflected in some way. Next to them though, the sunglasses. Oh bitch, I want them. I have them on my face all the time. I think those are fucking cool. This dress reminds me of something Dua Lipa would wear. Like, absolutely. You can't tell me you don't see Miss Dua Peep in this shit. The chaotic belt. <laughs> that resonates with me on too many levels. Ooh, see, these are the kind of items that I'm like... I'm not a fan of. Like crochet is very cool, don't get me wrong. I love crochet fashion, but personally, again, these are not my style. They are not in my wheelhouse. However, this cherry design, I saw these exact jeans in Urban Outfitters and I was like, yo, those are so cool, I want them. Um, but then they were in Urban Outfitters and I personally don't like shopping from Urban Outfitters just because of, um, previous products they've sold i will pop some pictures here of why they are problematic um and i try to avoid shopping there and i'm aware it's like a wholesaler for brands like jade in london which is slightly smaller brands um but yeah if i were to purchase those jeans i would buy them directly i'm not sure what my measurements would be because i am a little bit on the bigger side um of what normal retailers sell uh i I'm very oddly shaped in the sense that I have very muscular thighs and then like a butt and then my waist is proportionally smaller so like whenever I buy jeans anyway there's normally a gap so trying to buy anything is difficult especially online but this whole cherry swirl thing love it I think that's very cool okay so this specifically is called Y2K yo she doing the fucking doing the fucking thing bitch thinking she in naruto this is all very futuristic it kind of reminds me of um obviously i am no fashion historian but within the 60s there was this kind of resurgence of um like predicting what fashion would look like in 20 years and dressing to that kind of futuristic style um it reminds me very much of planet her by doja cat like, those are the kind of vibes this is giving me. Like, I see this girl and all I can hear is, baby, I need to know, whoa, it's, it's not me really singing. Like, bitch, what is going on here? She's having a great time. Get it, Miss Thing. Ooh, I love the orange wash slouchy jeans as well. I'm a big fan of slouchy jeans. These are fun. I wouldn't want to tan in these, but those are fun. Like, I feel like that would look great on a festival outfit, but then the week after you'd be left with lots of little dots and it, no. I, I would be playing connect the dot if someone I knew wore that. I'd be like, I love you, but I gotta connect them. These are cool, I love this. This like splatter design, that's cool. See again, this is very 60s revival, which we've seen a lot of the last kind of few months i the only thing is is that i don't know if this is going to become a micro trend or not like the 60s uh resurgence has definitely been very prominent within the last year or so of fashion however it's just a case of if it will stick or if it will become a trend that in a year and a half essentially nobody cares about um which i feel like is very difficult because with specifically women's fashion it's so easy to just purchase something wear it a few times and then when it's out of season get something new meanwhile with men's fashion that doesn't happen it does happen but not 
as quick necessarily as it does for women's and which is why we've seen definitely a resurgence of micro trends i feel like especially through like lockdown and stuff people have become a lot more interested in developing their own style which like you've seen people on tiktok and instagram and you become accustomed to seeing those kind of outfits which makes you think you've got to dress that way which obviously you don't and because people were wanting to try out new things um it just turns into trends and therefore micro trends which is why whenever i try to purchase something i try to think like okay how long have i wanted this how long am i going to be able to wear it without having to throw it out in like six months which um i believe in terms of sustainability is the way you should be shopping but again i'm not going to tell you how to spend your money or how to shop for clothes to each their own i'm not actually sure how sustainable jada london is but that's okay we don't mind let's look in their top section ignore my search history by the way it's all stuff i'm developing product wise and then obviously my etsy tabs you know all very exciting have we seen everything that they're selling let's go on their um their outlet shop i guess okay so this is what i mean like these patchwork jeans they were all the rage like a few months ago i haven't seen anybody wearing them recently i understand they're probably not in trend anymore but again this is kind of what i mean i love these marble trousers though i think those are cool and the cloud ones i didn't even realize they said cloud i was gonna say they remind me of clouds which i love i think it's such oh look at these so geometric and fun <gasps> yo look at the top okay that is cool that looks like um oh i think you can do it with silicone you know like the silicone molding that they put on phone cases to make it look like whipped cream that's what that reminds me of i love that can i just say the models they use on this website are gorgeous <gasps> oh those are so cute it kind of reminds me of i have a fruit salad jacket over there that i brought in bristol and the purple and the pink uh kind of remind me of those exact shades um it could even be the same material yo again with corsets corsets was such a thing for so long i haven't seen anyone wearing them i will admit i do have one i haven't worn it purely because I'm waiting for the right occasion. I might wear it tomorrow uh, because tomorrow there is a Halloween party at my university. So I might do that as like a little thing, I don't know. But like this, the denim dungaree top, dude, that's fucking cool. I love that. Like that is just fucking cool. That is such a statement. Like look at that shit, look at this bitch, yes love it oh the bag the bag the bag i love these shorts <laughs> genuinely uh well they haven't got them on my size that's tragic they've only got them in 25 so if you've got a little itty bitty waist please buy them see i love these jeans as well i feel like if i had these trousers i would just walk around and just stroke my legs which sounds very weird how did I skip past this? The pinstripe cheerleader skirt, that is a thing. The mixed check panel kind of reminds me of Burberry. I feel like they came out with something vaguely similar. I love those cut joggers, those are cozy. The graffiti pants, they look fun. Oh, they do jewelry? Damn, I don't think I knew they did jewellery. It's fairly cheap. The yellow beaded daisy necklace, I'm pretty sure Harmony wears that. She goes to my uni. She wears something very similar. I recognise it. Okay, these are cool. Those are statement. I'm making such basic statements now, but like, these are actually very cool. 
I love that. Those little shorts are so cute. I do feel quite bad though for all these. Oh my god, look! Model with stretch marks, yo! That is so fucking rare. I, I appreciate the brands nowadays are trying to be more inclusive. But like actually seeing <clears throat> model diversity with like stretch marks and cellulite and like beauty marks and things that are traditionally considered not perfect. Yo, my heart like oh makes me so happy because like I always say it like I don't understand why people are so offended by or are not a fan of like freckles or anything. It's like they are a natural part of human skin. You have them because you have them. Princess! It's very Y2K. Okay, and it looks like that is it. Yeah, so that was window shopping with me. Maybe I should look at the men's stuff. The men's stuff kind of reminds me of Scoot a little bit. Um, maybe I should. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave it at that for now because otherwise I will probably spend money and like I mentioned, I'm very far into my overdraft and cannot afford another spending spree. Thank you, depression. Uh, but for now, let me know what you guys think. I think that Jaded London looks pretty cool. Oh, I would so be down for buying some stuff uh, when I do have money eventually. Very cool. I'm hoping for the price that it is, uh, they are sustainable and like worth it and good quality. Like, um, they are a little bit pricier. I'd say they are a mid tier range of brand. So they're not as cheap as say like your high street, like New Look, Primark, um, like Bershka. They are more on range of like Zara brands, but like they are like next tier, I would say. I like them though, they're very cool. I've never looked at their website before and I'm probably gonna buy some stuff at some point, but yeah. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next video, bye.